Friends here, I've got my Pi 4 boards in and I am excited. We can see here there's a 1 gig version, a 2 gig version, and a 4 gig version. And uh, they are basically the same except for the RAM chip, essentially, just as it sounds there. Um, the 1 gig, the 2 gig, and the 4 gig are physically the same size, length by width, but the heights of them are different between the boards. So uh, I've been working to figure out how to make a case to fit all three, and we've come up with a design. I wanted to show you a little bit here of uh, taking our old Pi 3 board or case and uh, the modifications we've made to it to change it to a Pi 4. Now obviously there's some different connectors here with the micro HDMI's and the USB-C and uh, the USB and the RJ5's being swapped around. Um, so I've made those modifications and uh, I just received the 1 gig and the 4 gig version of the boards yesterday so I've uh, been able to test fit it with the case that I designed around the 2 gig version and uh, Let's show you how it works. We've obviously got the same insulating plastic and neoprene. And what we've done here is I've got three pillars now instead of just the two to match the three chips that are going to be creating heat. Um, like I said, the middle RAM chip is slightly different. So what I'm doing is I've got a uh, half a millimeter thermal conductive pad that's going to go on there so I can make that pillar slightly shorter. And the very slight difference, it's only about eight or ten thousandths of an inch different between those chips. Um, but that'll be taken up by that thermal pad there and it'll squish down and take up that space and uh, that's how we'll adjust for the different heights of that chip and still use one case for all of them. The other two chips um, are going to contact directly with thermal grease and uh, we'll go from there. We'll do some testing and see how it's going to work. Um, some of the other changes I've made, the Pi 3, um, when we made the Pi 3 and all or when I designed all the other previous cases, I had these really thin um, spacers that went between the RJ45 and the USBs and sometimes I would have a problem manufacturing these It was probably the biggest problem manufacturing these sometimes they would break off they're just so thin um, when they manufactured right they were fine they're fairly strong when they're done but um, during the manufacturing process there can be some pressure and some things moving around and sometimes they would break so what we've done now is I've taken those pillars and I've made them a triangular shape now to give it more rigidity the reason we couldn't go straight back is these USB uh, connectors, I don't know if you can see this, they have these spring reliefs that have to squish out um, and they go to either side. That's why I decided on that triangular shape. Um, so some of the other differences besides the three pillars and the, the spacers in between the USB and the RJ45 is the micro SD slot in the back. Um, I've decided to change it here if you look. Now instead of it being a slot where I had to go through and mill um, a slot into this, as a secondary operation, secondary machine, another fixture on the machine, it was really a lot of cumbersome extra work. So what I've decided to do here this time is I can make it or manufacture it all in one setup now where I can just cut that slot out completely without having to remove it and set it up on another fixture. And then on the top, I've made this stick down some so that when they go together, it essentially makes the same size slot um, for that micro SD card to go in and out, but a lot easier to manufacture now. So uh, let's show you how this goes together. It's a little tight here on the uh, the 3d printed case but that's just because it's a 3d printed case and we get a little variation in the actual size there but we're within usually five thousandths of an inch so it takes it uh, almost right exactly how we're going to do it with aluminum so you can see here um, the 3.5 millimeter still in the same spot the two micro hdmis are now spaced out with the case there the usb-c had to be a little bit bigger um, got that changed over, the micro SD slot for your micro SD card to go in. Um, your GPIO still has the slot there to allow all the GPIO pins to come in and out. And uh, there's your RJ45 and USBs, USB 2 and USB 3.0. Um, the only other difference that I'm going to modify with this case that they've done here that uh, I really didn't notice when I did it, it's such a minor thing, I don't know if you can see this, but the RJ45 and the USBs actually stick further out than they did on the Raspberry Pi 3s. So, I don't know why they changed that, but they stick actually further out from the PCB than the other ones did. So, I'm just going to thicken this case up a little bit there to fill in the rest of that gap. And, uh, but other than that, I think we've got a full, a good 3D printed case. And uh, we're just about ready to go into aluminum. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up pre-orders this week. Thank you guys so much for all of your emails and helping uh, get this thing going. And uh, I look forward to it. We'll get some out for you and uh, we'll see them next week starting to uh, be released as the actual aluminum product. Thanks, you guys. Till the next time. Bye.